Hi guys, welcome to Haphazardly Gaming. I'm Alex. This is Envy. And we are playing Dandelion Wishes Brought to You. I don't remember where we were in this. Recap. The girl thinks she's the master, even though they're humans now. Oh yeah, and she gave, but, and she gave him a bunch of apples. She gave him apples? Because he was supposed to be aggressive. He wasn't aggressive, he was just drunk. Wow, and we're right into a loading screen, look at that. Alright. Kicking off good. After the apple- Hey, look, we were just talking about that. <laughs> After the apple incident, the number of apples Juan could eat in a day decreased to one. Oh my god. Is that like all he eats? One per day. John blinked his eyes in dissatisfaction, but Jihei ignored his silent protest. Please keep that in mind, my lady. Okay. A few days after the incident, as soon as soon I stepped into the kitchen after coming home from school, I spotted something shocking. The translation on this thing. <laughs> Apples were rolling around everywhere in the kitchen. I don't know why that needs to be screamed. Like, it's it's a, like murder. It's the worst. A severed body, maybe, but <laughs> apples. And a pair of red eyes was gleaming under the table. Oh, okay. Ah! Jayan! Jayan was hiding under the kitchen oh table with God. an apple in his mouth. He's like a gremlin! <laughs> you... you surprised me big time. What are you doing there? I could see the apple box that I had kept in the cabinet under the sink rolling on the floor. Rolling? That's there's, what it says. There's an apple bo boxes can roll? Yes, apparently. Oh my gosh. I could smell apples everywhere. What in the world happened? He took out the things and lost his mind. <laughs> Gian stopped e eating the apple and looked at me. Hmm. Ugh. I can't believe he made such a mess to eat just the apples. What would Jihei say if he found out? Jian never made any trouble before. Jian. Hmm. You promised to eat one apple a day. Not enough. If you break if you break the promise, I have no choice but to hide the apples. Do you want that? Hmm. And Jihei will be worried about you. I said in a stern voice, but Jian looked at me with no expressions. His cheeks were red. How many did he eat? Do you like apples? No, he hates them. Jion nodded. He looks so cute when he nods like this. <clears throat> but Jihei will be worried if you eat too much. And what if he hurts his head again? You don't want to worry Jihei, right? No. Then, you shouldn't eat apples secretly, right? Although, if he eats like this, it's not exactly a secret. <laughs> hmm. Jayan? Don't. Huh? Oh, God. <laughs> Don't. Maybe we'll get to see him aggressively. Right. Don't give me orders. I was startled out of his sharp voice. Was he drunk from the apples again? No, he doesn't look drunk. He just looks... I wasn't trying to give him orders. It's not an order, but a... Be quiet. Quiet. John curled up his body. Okay. What's wrong with him? John? I don't want to hear it. John shouted, his eyes closed, and his body curled up. His body began to shake. I've never seen John rack so strongly before. Is it because of what I said? Is he feeling unwell? Cheyenne? Are you okay? Are you sick or something? I pause there weird. I don't want to hear it. Leave me alone. Hmm? John looked up. Leave me alone. Wow, I did that a little too loud for Cheyenne. Oh well. <laughs> John's eyes were filled with tears. Saw by John's sudden reaction, I didn't know what to do. Is he feeling unwell? You asked that already. 
Right. Or did something bad happen? He just ate a shit ton of apples, that's what... Oh. Cheyenne. I don't know exactly why he's so close to tears, but... I can't just leave him alone like this. Leave me alone. I feel like I'm suffocating. Hmm? Suffocating? Ah. I see. Why are your grades so low? All these expensive tour lessons aren't paying off. Tutor, not tour. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> That's interesting. That's a new one. <laughs> Other students did it this way, but you've done it so differently. I don't want to hear it. The man ruined... Well... That's wrong voice. The man ruined you. Wow. Okay. The man ruined you that way. Mommy will save you. I can't do a voice, so. Trust me. I'll help you succeed. Do as I say. Can't you understand what I'm saying? Do you not understand? How many times do I have to tell you? Mom, please. Let me go. You're suffocating me. I remember the past me doing everything as I was told, whether it be from mom or the teacher. No one was interested in my opinion. From a certain point, I'd forgotten how to express myself. I'd never expressed what I wanted in my life. I didn't even know myself what I wanted. Okay. When Jayan said he was suffocating, I was reminded of my past self. Jayan had a history that he didn't tell me. Perhaps it was like mine. I think she had a nice house. <laughs> I was saddened by the thought. I approached Jayan, who was shivering. There was a reason Jayan was saying this. There was a reason Jayan had said he wanted to be an animal who couldn't think nor hear. I didn't know yet. Leave me alone. But Jayan probably had such a... had a sad history, too. Jayan, it's okay. <clears throat> I carefully stroked Jayan's back. Fortunately, Dion didn't resist. It's alright. Everything is fine. Eddie? Dion suddenly hugged me. Oh, I guess you're Eddie now. It's Aww. easy to get the two confused. This is cute. No, it's not. Eddie. Eddie! Mistaking me for G. Hey, Dion called me Eddie. He thinks I'm Eddie. He must have had a lot of apples. Jayan, Eddie, people were mean to me again. People? So, Jayan wasn't shouting at me? This is like such an awkward hug now that I see all of it. See, I told you it wasn't cute. Then who are these people that he's talking about? It's okay, Jayan. Even though I'm not his Eddie, if I could cheer him up even a little bit, then it was okay. Eddie. Eddie, don't go. John was grabbing onto my sleeve. I patted his head until he fell asleep. This makes me really uncomfortable. This is, this is technically a romance row. Why? Because it's not really... romance Yeah. It's more like she's, like, taking care of, like... A child? I was gonna say a pet. Hello, <laughs> El! Yay, we get to romance him some more. Cause this isn't already awkward between him in love with Eddie and us treating him like a child and an owner and uh, there's so many things. Yes, let's well, give him an you're apple. You're the one who chose this. Cause that's not gonna go weird at all. Sweet. Yes, you were talking to the plants. I saw you talking to the plants. I thought you were very kind. That's weird. Yeah, well. If I saw someone talking to plants, I'd be like, um. Why? You know it's a plant, right? Yeah, why are you talking to plants? Wow, that was helpful. Let's go to the beach. Yay, beach! Why can't we take him? It's Saturday! He apparently is not available on Saturdays. Why? Where Where are you going without Eddie? He's sleeping. In a tree. In the park. That's with an apple. Annoying. Maybe he's out with Jisoo. Wasn't the cat in there? 
no? Uh, I could have swore it looked like he was. Is he here now? Yeah, he's here! He's one of the- why are they- that, okay, I'm not even gonna- We're gonna go to the beach. I hate the beach. Is mom whistling? That's weird. Why is that weird? Mom doesn't usually whistle. Everyone whistles. I don't whistle. <clears throat> That's because you can't whistle. I can whistle. Lies. <whistles> hey, I didn't tell you to whistle to prove it. We're trying to record here. So I can whistle. Now everybody knows I can whistle. Nope. Anyways, which one should I pick? I didn't read what they were saying. Uh, I don't know. Are you alright? Because I didn't read it either. Because you just kept clicking and clicking and clicking. Yes. I was thinking about something else for a moment. Okay. He, he dresses like a prep school boy. The wind, the wind is cold. Aren't you cold? That was it? Where is this? Yay, he gave us his, our, his jacket. I had fun. You better take a rest too. We you don't know he gave you the jacket. He didn't even say what he gave us. It could have been a jacket. I'm gonna say it was a jacket. It could have been like just a pocket watch and he's just like, here, you need to know the time. You don't own me. It is half past noon. Wow, they're all in the living room. We got one whole point for that. How many points does it go to again? 100. What are we oh, at? 150. Sorry. What are we at? 100. Oh. Oh. Okay. What are you thinking about? I was thinking. <clears throat> cool. Thanks for that information, dude. I thought it was very informative. So, um, how's your day so far? Sorry. Why does I he keep going? Anyway. Cleaned the kitchen. That's right. Then I threw away some water bottles. Then I realized I had no water left. I was sad for a moment, but then I saw my Dr. Pepper. And I was like, oh, Dr. Pepper, you never betray me. Then I drank some Dr. Pepper. Then I reheated some food. The food, I took I took it out because it like looked done. I bit into it, it was still really cold. It was a little gross. So I put it back in. It got warmer. Then I took it back out again. That then I like ate a it. succulent, not a... Okay. Anyways, go on. Anyways, then I ate it. It was good, I guess. What did you eat? Um, it was like a sausage burrito. Oh. Yeah. It was left over, because I had it like... Yesterday, I think? I don't know. It was yesterday or the day before. Okay. I just make sausage and then I put it into random stuff and eat it. I had like sausage, like, I had like, um, it's like queso cheese, you know? And then we threw some sausage up in that hood. It was really good. That's good. Sausage is a lot better than the ground um, beef that we were using before. I like ground turkey the best. Ew. Why do you say you? You like mom's uh, turkey. No, I really don't. I much prefer ground beef. Oh. What, especially like... I don't know. I mean, I don't hate it. It's just, it's not... I don't know. There's it's something like if I eat it, I have to eat it with something else. I can't just eat ground turkey. Well, I don't. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. Well, you might not know since you like it, but I'm not saying I dislike it. It's just it's one of those things that like it's too much of one flavor for me. Oh, I can understand that. But it's just so funny because there's so many things that like I'm like you like that, and you're like no, I don't. I'm like oh, okay. That's just because I'll eat any. I'll eat like if something makes me food, I just eat it. I'm not like. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't like this. You will eat anything. <laughs> so, I won't. just out of politeness, like, you know. Yeah. Does your OBS do that a lot? What? Where it says, like, warning, high, and coding. Not that I've noticed. My computer needs, it's supposed to be, like, top notch. I don't know why it's three. Uh, I was thinking about the reason why I can't eat many apples. Okay, watering the plants. I must give the water nourishment. I must give the plants nourishment and courage. Anyways, my computer's supposed to be like top notch, and yet it like can't even record this without being high encoding. Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It that sounds more like an OBS setting you have to work on, not necessarily yeah. your computer. Am I supposed to read sound of footsteps? No. no. 
Okay. What I thought we, we got a loading screen. I was paying attention. We did get a loading screen. Oh, then I was paying attention. I don't know. Choose. You're better at this. You've played this game more than me. Okay, sound of footsteps. Oh, I can't believe you chose activity. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> more sounds sound. of footsteps. I narrate you. This is weird. More sounds of footsteps. Oh, he's following us around. That's what's going on. What a creep. He's a stalker. Sounds of footsteps. His face is getting more dramatic. Oh, wait. There we go. Now it's all cute. Sounds of footsteps. <laughs> These days, John followed me around everywhere I went. That's weird. So cute. I'm... How old is this guy? Um, didn't they say briefly, like, not his actual age, but they were... We know he's definitely not 21. Well, yeah, we know he's not 21. None well, of them are 21. Go. No, it was something like, he wasn't old enough to do something that everyone else was old enough to do. Oh, right. Whatever. Jihei wasn't home much, and John fo began to follow me around. And I began to take Jian out more often because I felt bad leaving John alone. Jayon and I were spending more time alone together. That was his name a lot. Really, it was. I was like, <laughs> I, this is getting weird. <laughs> I shouldn't keep thinking he's cute. He's even taller than me. Okay. Because tall people can't be cute. But he really acts like a child, so I forget the fact that he's taller than me. Again, oh. taller people can't be cute. I lifted my hand up. And put it on Jion's head. That would be so awkward. Uh, he's about five centimeters taller than me, perhaps? The ribbon is... The ribbon is loose. I'm now in charge of tying Jion's ribbon. Well, what ribbon are we talking about? I don't... I don't see a ribbon anywhere. I mean, I guess this thing? But that's not really a ribbon. I don't know. Okay. You need to know how to do this by yourself. Jion <clears throat> hmm. looked at me blankly. Eddie never said that. I am not Eddie. Jion hmm. hung his head a little. I think independence is what Jion needs the most right now. The fact that Jihei has gotten busier may be better for Jion. It gives him more chance to do things by himself. And I think my role is to teach John how to do things by himself. Oh my god. Okay. She's like his mom now. Right? This is so <laughs> uncomfortable for a romance route. Oh jeez. Jion nodded. Good boy, Jion. Oh gosh. I patted Jion on the head. I feel like I have a younger brother. I really hope that this isn't like Oh, there's, there's no way this is a romance route. A beautiful younger brother who looks like a porcelain doll. You are strange. But maybe then he wouldn't look so beautiful. Haha. -ha. Why am I strange? Because you order me around. Order? <clears throat> I'm, I'm not ordering you. I'm teaching you. Teaching? Yes, teaching you to do things by yourself. Because Jion needs independence. Do you not like me doing this? I remember Jion shouting at me not to give him any orders. He seemed to hate having someone ordering him. I don't hate you ordering me around. I'm just not used to it. Not used to it? I'm just curious. Did you belong to the nobility back in your world? John shook his head. Shook. Wow. Shook. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean no? The giant attitude indicate that he is more than just a commoner. And didn't Ji Wu mention it before? That John might be a member of the royal family? I lived in the palace with Eddie. Then you are royalty. Hey, royalty. Jion nodded. Wow, really? It's just as Jiwu said. John was really a royalty. Really? Wow. Are you a relative of the king then? I don't even know there is a king. It could be an emperor. Oh my god. Sorry. My father is the king of Grass Kingdom. Wow, what a creative kingdom name. Then, does that mean Jian is a prince? That, 
That's amazing. I couldn't conceal my shock. Are you a real prince then? Hmm. What about Jihei? He was your friend. Is he a prince too? Jan <clears throat> shook his head. Eddie is. Don't tell me Jihei was his nanny or something. John hesitated to answer it. Why? Is it something you can't tell? Eddie is my knight. A knight? Does a knight usually do laundry and peel apples? Maybe that's the case in their world. But then, Jihei did always behave with discipline. Jihei is a knight. It really suits him well. Then Jihei is basically Jion's employee. If Jihei is a knight protecting the prince, he must be a noble too. I see. I can't imagine how Jion must have lived until now. He's a prince, and he even has a dashing knight. Did he live a luxurious life? And I'm sure no one must have ordered him around. I wonder how it feels to have a great power at such a young age. Well, apparently he can't even tie a ribbon, so I'm not good. <laughs> I suddenly feel very humble, thinking that a prince is in front of me. Now, I can't even nag you anymore, ha ha ha. As I laughed awkwardly, Jion looked at me. Why are you trying to change? What? It is not important who I am. You don't have any reason to change. Does he mean I should just act as I did before? But yeah. But you're a prince. You have a knight and probably servants too. I left the kingdom. So I am not a prince anymore. John said quietly but firmly. I am only... Um, hold on. Apparently I only have nine minutes of power left and I have to plug in my... I was like, what, you really don't want to read the next parts? <laughs> I was like, there's been weirder things. You've read the meows. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I am only chosen by you. Chosen? He said the same thing before. That I chose him. You said choice. I asked before already. But what do you mean by that? My duty is to make you happy. Oh, he got close. <laughs> Jion didn't answer my question, instead came closer. Yes, we can see that. Ah. Uh -huh. His beautiful red eyes looked at me directly. I don't know if I would, like, ever... Okay. Are you satisfied with your choice? Satisfied? About choosing Jion? I don't even know when and how I chose him, Jayon. I'm not sure about the meaning of it, of choice. I feel as if Jayon's red eyes were absorbing me in. But if I did choose you... I'm not sure for what, but if I were to choose Jayon in any situations... I don't think it will ever be a bad choice. I think it is a good choice. I looked at Jaron with a smile. I still don't know what he is talking about. But if I chose Jaron, I don't regret it. As we became closer, I want to know him better. About Jaron and Jihei as well. Compared to when Jaron had zero interest in me during our first encounter, we became pretty close. I'm glad. You know, she... Like, is obsessed with Jihei. Does she talk about Jihei this often, like, every route? Because, mm, like, no. every time she's talking about someone, she's like, let me compare you to Jihei real quick. No, but in Jion's route, Jion's route, in Jion's yeah. route, it's almost like you're actually on a route with Jisoo than with Jion. It's kind of weird. How so? Because, like, most of the um, loading screens are with Jisoo. That's weird. I know. <laughs> Jion's eyes softened a little. Is he happy? You do talk about Jihei a lot in Jisoo's route, though. Oh, that's me. By the way, we have to get one thing straight. 
You don't want me to treat you like a prince, right? I looked straight into his eyes. Jiang clearly said that he's not a prince here. And that I don't need to change. So, then I can act in front of you as a as just as I've been? Jian nodded. What is that word? I don't know, I just was going to ignore it. Wait for you to click. Imperceptibly? <laughs> yeah, can we just... Can you Google that? Mm, sure. You're good the way you are. Do I have a, do I have a word? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I think John just smiled slightly. I was glad. Because he accepted me just as I am now. I like you. I like you and I as equals. I don't want us to be different, like Eddie. Ah, right. Jihei is a knight, which means that he has lower social status than Jion. That's why he is always standing on formality in front of Jion. He takes care of and protects Jion at the same time. So it means, uh, unable to perceive. Okay. Yeah. Then Jihei and I are different to Jion. Not sure that was used in the right context. I'm not sure either. Like, if he nodded in like a weird like stealth mission way, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> like he like, like swung his head in a full circle, so you're not sure if it was like a yes or a no. <laughs> right? Like that's that's I don't know. Like was he not sure, or couldn't perceive us, or could we not? That I feel like yeah. that was in the wrong context. Yeah, Jion and I are equals. There's one relationship with Jion and Jihei. And there's another relationship with Jion and me. Yeah, that's usually how that goes. <laughs> At first, I thought I couldn't become close to Jion. But now, I'm seriously thinking of our relationship. And somehow, it made me feel good. I'm telling you, it's a romance route. It really, it has to be a romance how route. How is it's this a romance? Sim. There's it's nothing, ro sim. there's nothing romancing about this, like except for like the weird moments. But she's like, "I'm your master. You're my pet," and <laughs> and like, "Oh, you're so cute, like a younger brother." Like I, it's weird. I know, I know. I just, <sighs> it's <sighs> weird. So I want to come here often. Hand. I'm going to drink my soda. Okay, you do that. Just in case you could like hear soda drinkingness. Oh yeah, I like your hand because they are warm. Do 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 do. The way you use the color blue to draw the sky is nice. It's what other color would you use? Then the sky I see in front of me. I don't know. Sky do you see? Yellow red tint? Sky? It could be like a yellow tint, like California tends to have a lot of po uh, pollution, so you don't always get the really blue sky. It's getting warmer. We're supposed to have like, I had one of the highest pollutions, did you know that? I thought that was weird. We are? Are you sure? Because I, it used to be that we were the least. Yeah, um, I heard, like, I read it somewhere recently where it was just like, um, Phoenix is so polluted that that's why when uh, the sun's going down, our sunsets look so pretty because it's actually pollution. I don't know how true it is. I didn't like. I don't think that's true at all because check, but the way that the sky is is because of it's a desert. I don't know what to tell you. It's because it's a really dry desert. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not trying to discuss it. I was just telling you. Well, it what I read. I don't. I don't think it's true. I don't care what you think. You should. But I don't, unless you're a scientist. Yes. <laughs> I got my degree last night. No, don't restart. What? My computer started to restart on me. I fixed it, don't worry. That'd be horrible timing. I know, I'd be like, well, wow, okay. I want to drink water. Okay, thanks. But I could also drink it too. What? Wait, what? I, no, want, to be I want to drink water. Okay, thanks, but I could also drink it, too. I'm going to slowly expand the list of things I can do. Okay. Was that like a metaphor, or...? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. Alright, um... 
We're going to end this episode here, and we're going to start another episode. Okay, half-hazardly out. Goodbye, my people.